Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jacob, and this is another episode of McDonald's Tips and Tricks. And we're going to call it Bang for Your Buck, or more Bang for Your Buck. So today's episode, we're going to go over tips that, you know, say you're a little strapped on cash, and you're really hungry, and just one burger or something like that won't do it for you. I'm going to tell you guys how to get more bang for your buck. So stay tuned, watch, enjoy, and then after, you can go to McDonald's. Or, you know, you can head your way to McDonald's now and keep the video playing, so by the time you get there, you have all the tips you need. So tip number one is going to be a breakfast tip, and it's basically to get the most out of your breakfast experience. Let's just say you go, you order a meal, you get your drink or your hash brown, and you're just like, you're done, and you're just like, so hungry. I want more. Got no more money. And let's say you want some pancakes, all right? So what you are going to do, you are going to go to wherever your drive through or your front counter or whatever you go to get your McDonald's, you're going to be like, I want a deluxe breakfast. And this is where it's going to differ depending on what you like, if you like the muffin or the biscuit. And you can just tell them, hey, I want to substitute the muffin for the biscuit. Get the deluxe breakfast up to the muffin for the biscuit, that's what I do, and bam. All right, so it's not over yet. If you want the muffin, you can keep the muffin. Depending on the store, depending on what store you go to and, and how nice the people are, they might even give you like McGriddle bread instead of the muffin or the biscuit. I know at our store, our store manager is cheap, so she wouldn't do that. She'll make you like charge it on the side and put it on there. It just makes no sense to me, but it is what it is. So, like I said, so you will end up with hotcakes. You will end up with bacon, sausage, eggs, your bread, and a hash brown, right? So what I do is I turn all of that into a sandwich and for those of you who don't know you can get any kind of egg you want you tell them the same thing i want to substitute the scrambled egg for a round egg because that's what i do the round egg is the is, is an actual like egg they crack that and, and they put it in the ring and they cook it the scrambled egg is liquid it's not a real egg i mean it's probably real eggs but it's not a real egg there in the store the egg whites once again the liquid it's not a real egg in the store and the folded egg not a real egg it's not an egg in the store they're, they're like pre-done so the round egg, I know for sure that's cooked fresh. Like I'm, I'm not saying the other eggs aren't real, but they're not like fresh out of you know the egg. <coughs> you know. So as for the round eggs, what I do is I ask for the round egg. I get the biscuit unless I'm feeling frisky. I'll keep the muffin or put the McGriddle bread just because I can do what I want at my own store. Um, and there you go. So I'll have a sandwich that has you know biscuit sausage egg bacon i break the hash brown in half i put it on top so i have that half a hash brown to finish off i have a whole set of hot cakes and you're thinking like why you don't get a drink though right but you don't it does not come with a drink but for the price of the deluxe you can add the drink on and it's going to be the same price as a meal or less make sure you guys check that one out it's what i usually do when i get my my lunch break during breakfast that's what i do and that's tip number one. Tip number two. All right. Say you're in love with the Big Mac, right? You love the Big Mac sauce. You love the shredded lettuce. And you just love the whole deal of it. But you don't want to pay 4 to $5 for a sandwich. You're like, that's just too expensive. Especially when the meat patties are like thin as hell. There's more lettuce and shit than the actual meat patties. I don't want to pay that much. What you are going to do, get a cheeseburger, double cheeseburger or a McDouble. Add mac sauce, add shredded lettuce, get the poor man's Big Mac, get the cheap man's Big Mac, get the I don't got the money Big Mac, you know? Like, obviously, you get one less patty if you do the regular cheeseburger, but if you do a McDouble or a double cheeseburger, you are literally getting the same exact thing minus a middle bread. Literally the same exact thing. Get your mac sauce, and, well, and it has ketchup and mustard, so if you don't like ketchup and mustard, just tell them no ketchup, no mustard, add mac sauce, add shredded lettuce, bam, Big Mac for cheap. For half the price. For half the price. You can get a Big Mac. So for the price of one Big Mac, you get two sandwiches. Yeah! Now, I know you guys like that one, right? Mm-hmm. So tip number two. Add Mac sauce, add shredded lettuce to a cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger, McDouble, and you basically get Big Mac. Same thing. And that's tip number two. So tip number three, and our final tip of the video is for, you know, the people that are trying to be healthy. Not me. 
I'm fat for a reason, and it's because I love to eat. But for you healthy people, but you don't want to pay five, six bucks for a salad at McDonald's. What you can do is ask for a side salad, and then get a plain chicken sandwich on the side. And, or you could just tell them to add a chick mc, mc chicken patty mc chicken patty the price difference is there's a price difference and they can cut up the chicken put the chicken patty on top of the salad and then you mix whatever the f you want on it and there you go you got yourself a chicken salad for a fraction of the price fraction like if you do this a couple of times you will notice the savings that you guys are going to get this is for you healthy people out there so there you guys have it our three tips of the day our deluxe breakfast plus a drink make more food and a drink for less than the price of an actual combo meal. Tip number two, you get a McDo uh, McDouble with mac sauce and shredded lettuce. If you don't want the ketchup or mustard, please make sure you specify that to them. You got a Big Mac for cheap. And our salad tip is make sure you get a McChicken patty or a chicken sandwich plain on the side, either one. And you'll be paying literally like a dollar or more less on all of this. So, thank you guys for watching McDonald's Tips and Tricks Episode 2. And I just got to say one thing. Episode 3. Stay tuned for Episode 3. It's a game changer. The game changing episode. But, as always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me grow. It really helps me motivated to keep making these videos. And it really helps, you know, my dreams come true little by little. I appreciate you guys for watching. And y'all have a great night. Peace.